Laboratory Diagnostics. Laboratory diagnostics play a very important role in this clinic. Of course, we search for any lapses in the parameters within the framework of our entire detoxification metabolism. We analyze the vitamin D level, look for trace element deficiencies, and diagnose the complete hormonal stress metabolism. The analysis of toxic loads plays a significant role in this clinic. It is very important for me to know about the kind of equilibrium of the intestine through a comprehensive stool analysis. The laboratory diagnostic includes important parameters concerning our possibility to bring our detoxification systems on the cellular level into balance. It is very important to keep a check on my own level of selenium of zinc in the body. Zinc alone serves as a cofactor of around 200 enzymes in a human body. The stool diagnosis gives important indications of an intestinal dysfunction. It shows the extent of inflammations in the intestine and it also reveals whether the immunological system of the intestine is in balance or not. The blood is an indicator of the immunity of a person, the saliva is an indicator of the metabolism, and the urine is an indicator of the balance of the acid-base balance. The compartments of the alkalescent level, the redox potential, and the electrical resistance in this milieu give an indication of the electrolytes equilibrium in the body and provide important details with regard to the ability of the body to maintain this equilibrium on the cellular level. When a cell has to maintain its own metabolism, it is very important to keep these parameters in a balanced state. Over the years, inflammatory reactions emerged late after 4 to 72 hours through the consumption of cow's milk, almonds, as well as cereals. And today we know that 78% of all human beings have the so-called gluten intolerance. This is of great significance to all the therapeutically assignments to enable first of all the patient to slowly restore his distorted state of immunological balance. However, it is only possible to bring the intestine back into its healthy functional state if one knows about the things which have not been accepted by it anymore over a longer period of time.